G'day guys, Alex Etches here from Golf Box. We're here for a pretty good reason. Something slightly different for me and something slightly different for the manufacturer in question. We're going to be reviewing the Garmin Z80 rangefinder. Okay, looks very, very good. The thing is, this is Garmin's first ever rangefinder. And the good thing about this is it's solving a lot of golfers' issues. That issue being, do I choose a rangefinder or do I choose a GPS? So the pros and cons of a rangefinder, just a rangefinder. So it's a laser device that's fantastic if, as long as you can see the pin, but if you go in the places that I visit, um, you, you can't see the pin. Five meters. Okay, so the pros and cons of a GPS. So GPS is basically a satellite navigation for a golf course without the annoying little voice telling you to turn left and right. So it covers all the problems that you may face if you've just got a rangefinder. So you do get all the whole information on a GPS. You basically get all the hazards shown on a digital display. However, the cons, it's usually slow. It can slow down play and it's known for not being as 100% accurate as a rangefinder. It says 200 meters. Five iron? Yeah, five iron. Okay, so we've got a bit of a problem here, haven't we? <laughs> what is the solution? Well, I've got the solution. Um, well, it's not my solution, it's Garmin's solution, and that is the Z80. So this is like a hybrid, basically. It looks like a rangefinder. However, you look through the display, it looks like Super Mario Brothers. So we've got basically a digital display of the hole as well as the rangefinder view. So it's basically the best of both worlds. We don't need to take a million devices to the golf course. So we're gonna go out and give this a go on the course. It's designed for the course, so we'll do it on the course. Uh, the big question I had is battery life. Surely having Super Mario Brothers on the display whilst you're playing golf is gonna eat up battery life. Well, you're wrong. It's got 15 hours of battery life, which is, well, I reckon I should get through a round of golf in that time, maybe. So the second question, and a pretty big question at that, is how much does this thing actually cost? It's a great question, great question. Unfortunately, I don't have the answer for you. I've got this product that early that there is no pricing, so it's free. Oh, yeah, it's definitely not free. A product with this many features, you can expect it to come in at a higher end, Obviously, however, you've got a GPS and a rangefinder combined in one unit. It's a pretty good value, really. The specs. Can this thing flex its biceps? <laughs> yes, it can. 41,000 preloaded golf courses, and I know for sure you're not going to play 41,000 rounds of golf, are you? You can try, good luck, but you're not going to get there. So it's got a lot of golf courses preloaded. With that, if a golf course gets added on, you've got free updates. So it's forever free. We like free things, that's great. Then we've got image stabilization that basically keeps the whole unit stable if you've got shaky hands, allowing you to hit the intended target, giving you an accurate distance. Moving on to my favorite feature, plays like distance. So basically this hole, say it's 120 meters, it's clearly downhill par three. I'm not gonna play it 120 meters. It's downhill. It's gonna play a lot less. So this basically tells me I'll put that club down take a club less and you might get the right distance okay we've talked the talk but can this walk the walk there's only one way to find out we're going to give it a go we're on the third hole at june look quarry it's a very 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 short par three however it is surrounded by a lot of trouble luckily enough we've got the garmin so let's see what's around it and what we need to avoid through the rangefinder, I've selected the option of plays like distance. So it's clearly downhill and it's telling me the front, center and back. So the front's 106 meters, the center's 124, the back is 145. That's justified because of the play like distance because it's playing downhill. So it's 
obviously playing shorter. Okay, so the Garmin has given us all the information we need like to let us know that there are a lot of hazards around. It's just now down to the idiot with the stick whether I can actually execute the shot or not. That looks good. That looks in the hole. Don't know. Could be slightly short, could it heavy-ish, but we'll go and have a look to see how we've got on. Okay, so it looked closer from the tee, but it's safe, you know. It's not in any trouble. We're over this bunker. We've got to put for birdie. Excellent. We've got to put for birdie. Doesn't mean it's going to be a birdie. It could be a triple bogey. But we'll see. It's a par-ish. Okay, so we've got the par. Now it's time for the next hole. It's a par five. It dog legs left and it dog legs right. The problem is, a standard range finder would not give me much help. All I can do is zap the bunkers and if I haven't played this hole before, I wouldn't know what's around the corner. With this, it gives me the whole GPS. I can see basically everything. Pretty terrible strike with the four iron, but I've landed short of this bunker, which is what I wanted. Um, I could go for the green, but I feel like we need to try and work on tactics here, not bash it and hope for the best. So it's 300 meters almost to the flag over this canyon. So I'm going to hit four iron again on a bailout. Thanks to the Garmin, I can see that that bunker's out of play, but I should be able to get over the canyon on the left hand side. Should. <laughs> Just. Okay, this is the result. Just over the big verge. Perfect pinpoint Garmin distance, allowing me to hit four iron, four iron to a position now where I've got roughly 50 meters to the pin, hopefully get a birdie. The thing is it's slightly uphill, so plays like distance, adds a bit of the distance on, allowing me to club up if needs be. The result for birdie on a par five, where usually I'd probably go driver out of bounds, driver, five iron, lost. You know, I've gone four iron, four iron, wedge, birdie. Well, <laughs> par. That play, plays like distance is extremely handy, I have to say. Woo! Birdie! That was a brief experience with the fantastic Garmin Z80 rangefinder. Um, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. It's changed my way of thinking and playing golf. I've actually taken my driver fairway wooden hybrid out today just so I can give some course management and plot my way around the golf course instead of hitting drivers, bashing trees and destroying golf courses. So it's been a new way of playing and it's actually paid off for me. So thanks to the Z80, it's told me where the hazards are. I've hit irons where I can avoid going into them and plot my way around a golf course. So I've got to say, fantastic unit. If you need any more help, give us a call on 1800 652 211. Follow us on social media, the links are below. And of course, subscribe.